guys, it's Jasmine and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you all a what's in my travel bag video um, as I did one of these last year but that was completely different to like my typical travel bag like when I go on holiday what I take with me as that was when I went to Milan with school on a coach for 26 hours so I'm obviously going to take a lot more for that than I am for like a typical like normal holiday where I go on an aeroplane. So yeah. Also, if you don't already know, I'm uploading three times a week during summer. Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays at half past six. So stay tuned for those. So this is my bag. It's just this Ted Baker bucket tote bag. Really plain and simple, but it's like perfect for what I need it for. And I got this from an outlet, so it's not in season and I won't be able to link it, but I'll try and link like similar ones. So instead of it being 159 pounds, I got it for 99, so got a bargain there. So first of all, I'll show you what's in my little like important bag thing. This is really good because it's attached to the bag. However, if I want to, I can always just unattach it. Don't know why I'd need to, but I can if I want to. Um, so this matches the bag, obviously. And in here, I keep things which I'm going to like probably reach for more than other things. So first thing that I have is my phone. Let me see. Oh, I got a text message. Let me just reply. Wait, it's only been like 54 seconds. I can't reply just yet because then I'll look like I'm being desperate. Anyway, so of course I'll have my phone um, and yeah, pretty self-explanatory. I also have in there my vlogging camera because I am going to be daily vlogging my holiday. So if you want to go ahead and see what I get up to on my holiday, subscribe to my vlogging channel um, as I'm not sure when this video goes up. So I might already be on holiday when you are watching this. I also have in there a purse um, and this is just a lovely little silver Ted Baker coin purse. This is a perfect size for like everyday use and I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then the last thing which I keep in this little pouch is my passport because can I need a passport to get out of the country so if you don't have one of those and you want to go abroad you're a bit stuck. This isn't actually my passport as I'm sure you can probably tell. No idea where my passport is. Probably have to find that before I go on holiday. This is a really cute little cover thing which I again got for Christmas and just says on the front of it and so the adventure begins and then you can slot your passport in here and more like cards and documents here so I'm sorted there. In the like main bucket compartment the first thing that I keep is my laptop because um, I can watch films on here, I can listen to music, I can edit. I could literally spend like the whole plane just on my laptop so of course I'm going to take this with me. Don't worry I will be buying a case for it before I go because I've already scratched it enough already so you know. I then like to take a magazine with me. My favourite magazine for when I'm on holiday is the Cosmopolitan or Cosmopolitan. I never know how you say it. I think it's Cosmopolitan um, magazines. And these are just great because you get a little bit of everything. You get like fashion, beauty, little like lifestyle things. Um, and yeah, I just prefer them to like any other magazine. And I also really like to take as kind of like a bit of a guilty pleasure is those trash magazines like Hello Magazine or OK Magazine, which talk about like famous people's lives. Like I don't really agree with it, but I like reading it. Um, and I only ever buy them when I'm I'm gonna go on holiday so yeah don't have one of those with me probably will buy one of those at the airport I then like to take a book one out of the two books I take on holiday with me because I'll probably either finish the book on the plane or like within a day of getting there so the book I'm reading right now is The Bloody Chamber by Angela Carter and this is just a collection of different books and it's known as like the feminist bible and I haven't started this I've read like a page and a half um, and got a bit sidetracked I also like to take with me a notepad um, and that way I can plan out videos blog posts life do some stuff. I don't know, I like to take a notebook with me. Another thing which I like to keep in my bag is my GoPro because sometimes, like last year, I used this when I was in the airport and when I made my travel diary last year. Some of you are wondering where that went. Basically, I edited it all and it was like the best video I've ever done and I still haven't done one like as good as it. Like, I was so happy with it. And then my like laptop, like iMovie crashed and I lost everything which was on it so I was like absolutely gutted about that but anyways um so yeah I like to take this with me by the way if you're thinking of getting a GoPro I have the GoPro Hero Session 4 hate it do not get one of these get one of like the main ones it's worth like the extra money um we got one of these because like we'd never had a GoPro before we didn't know what it was gonna be like and I'm thoroughly disappointed with this as it's just so hard to work and literally press a button for like every single thing it does so it never works, so yeah, I kind of need to take this into like Jessup's or somewhere to get it repaired or like them tell me how to use it properly because it don't really work. The next thing that I like to take with me is some sunglasses, so this is my little sunglasses bag thing. I am going to take like a proper hard one, but for now this is what I'm taking with me and in there I like to keep my sunglasses, so if you watch my holiday haul you would have seen that this year I'm using these ones, which I really like. I also picked up... 
I also picked up a pair, I'm going to take these off, yesterday from H&M which are £3, so I'm going to take them as well, but I'll probably put them in my suitcase. And then also, a little like life hack for you guys, travel hack, I always store more than one thing in my like sunglasses case, and um, because I never get like designer ones, so I'm not that arsed if they like get scratched and stuff, so in there that's where I keep my pens, so they're not like running around everywhere in my bag, um, and like dirtying it up and things like that. And then like to have a bottle of water because, you know, gotta stay hydrated. I never ever take with me like a proper bottle if you know what I mean, like um, a drinking bottle. I always just buy like a bottle of water like this because that way before I get on the plane and before I get to like border control I can just drink what I want, throw it away and then when I get to the other side I can just like the other side of like the security thing I can just buy another one from like duty free. Whereas if I took a bottle with me, one, nine times out of ten the way more and two, you've got to drink the whole thing otherwise they don't let you take the bottle through and then the last thing which I have to show you is my camera case because when I put my camera in my case in this little like pouch thing and um, it doesn't like close up properly so obviously I'm going to take this for like when I'm actually on holiday but in here I double it up as like a little kind of like necessities case so in there I keep my roll-on deodorant a lip balm and I'm just going to put some like small wipes in here which I can like fold up and tissues and things like that because this extends a lot and it can like push out and fit a lot in and then I need to buy a couple of bits and bobs as well so this is what I'll be buying and then putting in my bag so I need to get some earphones and um, because I do have some old ones but I have um the 7 and it doesn't have a headphone jack so I need to get an adapter and some nice ear or headphones and um, also need to get some snacks but I always get them at the airport because I just do. Also need to get another little mini brush. I got a mini tangle teaser for Christmas but I think it got like taken at school or I left it somewhere at school which was a bit of a pain. I'm also going to need to get some hand sanitizer because aeroplanes are dirty AF and I don't want to get ill like before my holiday so I'm going to get some of that. And yeah I think that's pretty much everything. Um, so that was what's in my travel bag. Let me know where you guys are going on holiday this year if you are going anywhere or where you would most like to travel to in the entire world or let me know both if you really want to. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed watching it, subscribe if you haven't already and I'm going to love you and leave you all here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Now I can reply to my bae. I'm joking, if you watch this I'll die.